BJP inner candidate R.K. Ranjan assures of building two lakh cities in Manipur to promote ecotourism and various other welfare projects if BJP comes to power. And NEIDP official depart ways from Manipur Democratic Alliance. NEIDP state vice president says party joint NDA to fight against CAD and not for electoral clients. Hello and welcome to Impact News Watching Prime Time English News. I'm Kangzam Shalera with the top stories and latest news at this hour. BJP candidate for inner parliamentary constituency for the upcoming 17th Lok Sabha polls, R.K. Ranjan, assured of building two lakh cities to promote ecotourism and various other development projects in Manipur if BJP regains power at the center. Speaking to media at his Kongbar Uzjekon resident today, R.K. Ranjan recalled that he contested in 2014 16th Lok Sabha election as a BJP candidate but lost the election due to time constraint in canvassing for the election. He thanked BJP central leaders and other party leaders for having faith in him by granting him party ticket to contest once again in the, these upcoming 17th Lok Sabha polls. R.K. Ranjan assured to amend the Land Reforms Act of the state for farmers' welfare if he wins this time. He further assured of setting up the world-class institution in Manipur and make the state an education hub. He also assured to upgrade Regional Institute of Medical Sciences Reams at the level of the Old India Institute of Medical Sciences Ames. The BJP inner candidate affirmed to renovate Mayang Imphal and Tanga or Mairang into lakh cities to promote ecotourism in the state to boost economy. Uh, 80% of the low me si masagi low pum late. Tasing a low river me the Carmina low pum sigi, Mapu and Gadagi have a sigi. Kupna Nana Ramatunga Quena Hana Lady will then reform the new addition or amendment. Taurakanda low me the Tasing a low good of me the low pum pagunaba. A low way of a low pum sing set. Must protect the Munaba Quay Yarin K. Panagani. Six urbanizations and the growth. Development my amsi lak with the gi. Yum pum later was sing se masi national level the movement as a work at Tongre. Adun state the su, adu nation the su right to home state land se masi pina no honabo. Sima. Nupi singa decision making the full participation to wungum nanabagi, madugi empowerment of women, empowerment harikana kuna western philosophy put pusalaga person the gai the sapanatawa. State amagi, country amagi, natraga family amagi. Development structure system of Matam, the Nupi Singi, Mama, we be singing the Tragamas and Massy Singi, Magi decision say, Isang Tona Tolaga, right part of Lagna, Adu or Wadi, Aquina societies of a one for Canaries, Koi Visa Piggy Wakal on the lay. Responding to media queries, R.K. Ranjan termed the allegation on BJP-led central government of bringing chaos in Manipur as a politically manipulated agenda. He asserted that BJP is governing in accordance with the sentiments of people in Manipur and other North states. R.K. Ranjan mentioned that the donor ministry was established during the tenure of BJP Prime Minister Atal Bihari Basbai for developing North states. He further mentioned that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been giving top priority for bridging Manipur with Southeast Asia countries under the AKS policy soon enough to come into power. He criticized that North states were kept away from the center during the Congress regime. R.K. Ranger accused former Congress government of creating Manipur-Burma boundary issues by initiating Indo-Burma Boundary Commission in 1967. North East India said, India gi, look is letter act is Southeast Asia gi. Central and focal point never quite the Tamai. Delhi the Tamu Yarponte, the geographical proximity, Yaguka, the North East India, the Trust Pirelli. Madugi the Mutuziki Dore, Kaladan Project, Nodas Hagal, is a Mizoram Dako. Masigi, hinterland road network road expand or Kaduri. Asi Congress Matam the Torumbra. Matam Dugi Congress Gamena, boundary fencing to Nunabugi, Manipurin in Togi Hak, the Samu Pavum Riba, Yamu Pupi Wildlife Sanctuary, sir. Masigi Mayaida. NEIDP officially parted ways from Manipur Democratic Alliance MDA, a conglomerate of 11 national and regional political parties, including BJP, which was formed against the contentious Citizenship Amendment Bill CAB. 
Speaking to media at NEIDB office in Terra today, Vice President of the NEIDB Manipur State Unit, Yumnam Nabachandra stated that NEIDB took the decision in the wake of fielding NEIDB candidates for both inner and outer parliamentary constituencies for the upcoming Lok Sabha election. He asserted that NEIDB did not form any electoral alliance with any political party. The party vice president said NEIDP was part of the MDA only to join fight against CAB. Ngasidi laiba parliamentary election siga mari leina na party singa sigi marakta tongan tongan ba khena bu akalon kyam khak langna ba maram oira kanta akoi gi party gi su akoi gi party gi adum laba inner amasu outer da candidate thadur pa maram oira kanta Hariba Manipur Democratic Alliance, Hariba Alliance, Sidagi, Akoi, Kudak Sidagi, Akoi, Tuxabani. National President of the National People's Party, NPP, Kam Meghalaya Chief Minister, Comrade Sangma, declared that NPP will field only for outer parliamentary seat in the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. Speaking to media at Hotel Classic Grant in Chungmairong today, Comrade Sangma announced NPP State Unit President Thang Milan Kipgent as NPP candidate for outer parliamentary constituency in the upcoming election. He said since NPP is an alliance of the ruling party in the state, no candidate will be filled for the inner constituency. Sangma further asserted that as resolved in the party meeting held in Shillong, NPP will contest for 25 seats across the country in the upcoming election. He mentioned that NPP is trying to field as many candidates as possible from various constituencies of North East states. In the spirit of the coalition, we have decided that in a Manipur seat, we will not be contesting and we will be working together with the coalition partners. We as a party will aspire to ensure that uh, the NPP comes out with as many seats as possible so that uh, we can play a more important role and a more effective role when it comes to the issues that are concerning the people of the Northeast and the region as a whole. So with that particular point and particular motive, we are here to strengthen the party as much as possible. And we hope and we appeal to the people of Manipur as well as of the entire Northeast region to support candidates of the National People's Party so that we can always stand up for the cause of the people like we have always been doing and we can take up the issues in a much more stronger manner. So therefore, in that spirit, we felt that we should fight and we've been very clear in the coalition that we will contest this election in our own terms. Joint Chief Electoral Officer Manipur in a press release notified that a joint meeting of representatives of political parties and journalists in view of the upcoming Lok Sabha election will be held at the conference hall of Chief Electoral Officer Manipur at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Coordinator of Lowering Bumped Chokhat Pagi Lomi Lut, LCLL, Elf Mega urge government to contribute in the organization and develop for self sustainability. Impact News visited Lorembom in Tobal district, where volunteers of LCLL are engaged in cultivation of varied winter crops post harvest over a stretch of 35 acres of paddy field. Speaking to Impact News, Mega also mentioned that LCLL volunteers are rearing various livestock to boost their income. He urged people and especially the youths of the state not to be over dependent on outsiders for necessary items but to start producing them in the state by taking up enterprises. He said youths of Loring Bump came together and formed LCLL. LL under Nabart and KBK Tobal on January 15, 2018, with a vision for self sustainability. Mega also mentioned that LCLL is planning to open Sunday market to make their produce available. He urged the government to make the initiatives of the organization more successful. A combined team of Commando Thobalt and a column of 26 assault rifles arrested a suspected member of proscribed RPF PLA around 2.55 p.m. today. The arrested person is identified as Moirang Tem Seret Elias Nanao Elias Uremba, 39 years son of Let M. Birmangon from Yaripok Malam Mayalekai. Reportedly, he joined the outfit in April 1999 through one Toibi of Nong Brant and went through 45 days basic military training at Sazik Training Center. He was handed over to the Gunsan Police Station. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on Governor Dr. Nasma Haptula joining Yao Sing's celebration today. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English News. 
Governor Dr. Nasma Habtula joined in Yausung celebration in a festive event held at Ras Bhavan today. Holy palas from different parts of the state presented holy songs on the auspicious occasion. Altogether, 10 groups took part in the program. Raja Street Bega Chandra Cultural Foundation Manipur today held holy celebration at Navdeep Dam in West Bengal. Members of the Cultural Foundation along with devotees from Manipur also carried out a cleanliness drive at the Samadhi of Maharaj Chorachand followed by ritual ceremony at Sri Sri Govindaji Temple. Devotees then played with holy colors to mark the celebration. Gaiti event on the second day of the festival today. Various local clubs and organizations across Imphal Valley organized sports events as a part of the festival. Literary and playful events were also held for a tiny totes as a part of the sports events. Differently able children joined Yaosung Sports Festival today. Nakhal Chingjilt and Model Club Chingamaka jointly organized a sport meet at Model Club Ground in Chingamaka. Athletic and various events including musical chair, blind heat, tug of war, in and out, short put, etc. were held during the sports meet where both normal and differently able children participated. Speaking on the sidelines, program coordinator of Nakhal Chingel, Pangabomt Vivek stated that the event was organized for the first time in Nakhal Chingjilt to give a platform for differently able children to socialize without, with other children. He asserted that it is high time to provide platforms to disabled children to exhibit their talents. Today, Yaosung Sports event entitled Play with the Colors, organized by Black Back the Pillar Foundation, kicked off at Tidim Crown today. The event was launched by Chief Secretary Suresh Babu and founder of the Back the Pillar Foundation, Tokjom Boniam, by lighting sports torch with sacred flames brought from Kangla Shrine. The sports event is being specially held for underprivileged children in association with Youth Rising Star Club. Impact TV has secured second position in the medal tally by winning two gold medals on the second day of the ongoing 9th Journalist Annual Sports Meet 2019 organized by All Manipur Working Journalists Union today. Impact News anchor J.C. Oina Tras Rina of the ISTV two set straight to secure a gold medal in women's badminton event played at the indoor hold of National Sports Academy Kuman Lampak Sports Complex. GCA again back another gold medal in the final of the women's table tennis by defeating DDK Stranger Rina. While in men's badminton event, Brigham of Evening 
Delhi back a gold medal after defeating Binot of Pandam Delhi. In men's table tennis, Michael of Tom TV fetch a gold medal after defeating Lenin of Huyen Lampao Delhi. ISTV so far is at the top of the medal tally with six gold, three silver and four bones medal, followed by Impact TV in the second bird with three gold, one silver and three bronze. Sangai Express is in the third place with two gold and one silver. Third day of the sports meet will see teams from media fraternity locking horns in football matches at Kumalambak Astro Stop Ground tomorrow. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. BJP inner candidate R.K. Ranton assures of building two lakh cities in Manipur to promote eco-tourism and various other welfare projects if BJP comes to power. And NEIDP official departways from the Manipur Democratic Alliance, NEIDP state vice president says party joint MDA to fight against CEB and not for electoral alliance.